Hi everybody, if we are live, um, welcome so much to our Music Plants Trees concert. <laughs> um, yeah, we've had all sorts of amazing, amazing journeys to get here and um, here we are and I'm really, really totally honoured to be sharing this event with my sister Isla Schaefer, musical compadre through, I don't know how many years we've known each other for, but um, a few thousand lifetimes maybe. <laughs> <laughs> along the way <laughs> um yeah and we're joined in this in this um vision and dream to to have music be connected to tree planting so that's why we're here um and i uh really want to introduce my beautiful sister isla to um play a few songs and we're gonna the way we're gonna hold the event is we're gonna go backwards and forwards and sing a few songs together and we're also going to be joined by claire dubois from tree sisters um, who's going to come and speak um yeah so we wish you a beautiful evening and thank you for joining us. <laughs> Thanks, Carrie. Just as you were talking, I was really enjoying how you have these trees, these two little trees <laughs> behind you. <laughs> Maybe they're going to grow a little bit extra through the music. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to um, start with a song that's from the Mi'kmaq Nation, which are one of the indigenous nations from Canada. And uh, it's such a beautiful, simple message in this song and um, bringing that, the, the roots, the native roots, here for us all.
We are healing with the earth. Thank you. Pass you over to um, Carrie, I think, now. So beautiful. Must have lived a thousand days like this before. It's side to side, I'm haunted as my choices seesaw. Tugging at my soul Seeking this for years, a way to stand truthfully in my grace and in my tears. I'm growing boots to help me put them down in a place that's green, 'cause concrete is the cancer of our towns. To be present and kind this time round, 'cause we're all gathered here. We've gathered together somehow.
Um, it feels uh, quite surreal to be here doing this, but also um, it also feels amazing. I have no idea how many people are watching because we're on Zoom, but I can feel I can feel you. <laughs> so it's quite an amazing experience. Um, yeah. Oh, I can see Sai. <laughs> he made it out of the out of the wilds of. <laughs> Glad. Um, this is a, a song called Sweet Earth, and I wrote this song um, lying on the forest floor and just feeling held by the earth and looking up at the trees and the leaves, which is such a simple thing to do, but obviously it's such a profound thing to do. And often I feel like I'm holding myself up. I forget that I'm held all the time and I hold myself together. And when I finally like take myself to the earth and just remember that I'm being held all the time, my whole body can relax. So it's my favorite thing to do. And I tell all my friends <laughs> to, uh, to send me off to the forest if I'm looking like a a crazy um, creature. So this is Sweet Earth. And, and you're welcome to sing with me. I don't know who's out there and who's listening and who's watching, but if you feel like singing, you're so welcome. Um, and the chorus just goes, ay ye, ay ye, ay ye. So you don't need any brain. Um. <laughs> don't need to remember any lyrics. <laughs> And I guess um, it's good to just keep mentioning throughout this gig that um, this is a fundraising event and uh, we have a dream to plant 5,000 trees and it doesn't matter how many trees we plant, we'll just, do, we'll just um, be so grateful with what anyone um, likes to donate that every, um, I think it, it, a tree is 40p or something so um, throughout this gig people will donate to the PayPal link and um, we'll plant a forest at the end of the gig which just feels incredible and it's something I've been dreaming of for a long time now to um, to just be connecting all my concerts to projects um, and things that I deeply care about because music's got such a powerful way of, of linking things together and bringing people together and, and we can share our passions whilst we share music. Um, yeah, so if you feel to, uh, I think the PayPal link should be at the top of the Facebook um, writing and please feel free to to donate and then um, after expenses 100% is going to Tree Sisters and um, we're going to hear more from Claire um, about Tree Sisters soon. <laughs> Gift of grace in 
embraces me. We belong to everything as the deep, deep mystery shows us. As the deep, deep mystery shows us. And I Stillness sings around you. Every breath you sink deeper as the sweet, sweet earth holds you. As the sweet, sweet earth holds you. And as the deep, deep. Mystery shows us as the deep, deep mystery goes us. And I, 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 you very much um i'm gonna pass on over to isla <laughs> are you there isla <laughs> sending a little smoke signal yes there you are it works <laughs> <laughs> in your echo chamber <laughs> oh so beautiful i didn't want you to stop carrie <laughs> Oh, thank you. Um, I think possibly do we want to pass it over to Sai? And yes. Let's see what happens after that. Yes. And we could play. Um, we have a. Yeah. Sai, you made it. Hey, beautiful people. Well, how are you doing? Can you hear me? We can. Can you hear me? Oh, great. Awesome. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're so glad. I'm so glad that I did make it. I have been here present waiting for it, but I had a little snooze <laughs> after uh, our beautiful All About Love concert that just happened. So it's been quite an intense few days, but just sitting here listening to you both is just so incredibly beautiful. Really, really happy to be here and to be doing my thing behind the scenes and just sharing and inviting as many people as we can to get this out there so that you know everyone can hear your gorgeous music and also of course the story of tree sisters as well which is something i'm looking forward to very much also so i hope you're both well yes <laughs> short answer <laughs> sure, you sure sound it <laughs> to sing i'm gonna sing a song that's called um, We Belong to Life. Thank you. 
inspired me to sing um, this song this next song is um, called The Children's Fire and it's inspired by um, it's a concept, it's a teaching it's, a, it's more uh, an understanding and a way of existing that's called The Children's Fire and it comes with um, a whole very beautiful story from, from the Native Americans from North America this whole story of their kind of story of creation of their 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 tribal ways of living in peace and harmony, and um, they they come to this understanding to place what they call the children's fire at the centre of their circle, the centre of their their council, and um, in doing so, it was there to remind them of their commitment that they agreed to make. That every decision, every thought, every action, every consequence of their decisions as guiding their people was, was in commitment to honour the children's fire, to preserve the children's fire. Meaning, asking the question, does this serve the future generations? Does this offer our children a world even more beautiful than the one we have received? And for me, when I heard this story... And it, and it still does touch me in a very profound way of what does it mean for myself as an individual to hold the children's fire at the centre of my own reality. But imagine if we held this children's fire at the centre of all of our, our politics, all of our business, all of our institutions, that, that our whole way of existing here as human beings was in was in service to this, was for the future generations, for the children. And um, just to contemplate that is 
is um, incredibly profound and it's a shift that has to happen otherwise we we will not be here so much longer so this is this song is a prayer for that and it's for for the children
Harry, I'm, I'm going to pass the um, magical musical ball back to you. And uh, just to say thank you to all the people who are joining us and um, for your support. I, I think we both had many messages in that coming up to this of people expressing their passion in their own individual lives about planting trees. And it's really beautiful to feel this like mycelium web of this passion between us and that we can show up and thank you for your donations and there is a link i think it, they had trouble putting the link on the top of the video but it's being posted regularly in the comments so you can look out for that link and um yeah it costs 40 pence to plant one tree with tree sisters which is um not not very much so you can choose how many trees you want to want to plant <laughs> Thank you, Isla. It's so beautiful. Mm. It's so beautiful to hear you. What a treat. <laughs> um, we are going to try and play uh, this video again from Claire. Um, she's going to be joining us a little bit later. But, um, she made this video especially for us, so we're going to give it um, a second shot. We've made a little shrine for the technology gremlins because we had so many. So we've given them a little bit of whiskey and tobacco and chocolate and hopefully they're going to be... They're going to be kinder to us and busy so that, that, that it's a smooth flow. So whenever you're ready, um, Ed, please play the video. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us for this extraordinary concert. I just want to thank Carrie and Isla so much for doing this thing that I love, which is finding a way to bring their gifts, the thing that makes them intrinsically more of who they are and that also that thing that brings us all together to shift a vibration and to experience their souls made visible and audible as they just love us and the trees through their music i will be here a little bit later live to talk to you about the trees that you will be planting from attending this concert or if you want to give more where those trees will be planted and just briefly to let you know that they will be being planted across Brazil and Mozambique and Kenya and Cameroon and Madagascar, India, Nepal and West Papua. But more about that later. For now, what matters is that we give our deep listening and our presence to these two completely extraordinary women who are stepping up in the way that makes most sense to their hearts to help music grow trees and right now i am evacuated up to the northwest coast out of california because our forests are falling from the sky as ash never has it been more important for all of us to figure out how to bring restoration and regeneration of our natural systems deep inside our lives and our gifts so thank you both so much for modeling that and I really look forward to coming in a little bit later and sharing more about the work that you'll be supporting when you support Tree Sisters and to thank Carrie and Isla so, so much more for their radical generosity. Till soon. Well, it's so nice to hear from Claire. And uh, yeah, I've been really inspired to um, just tune in more to Tree Sisters and what they're doing and I uh, love this idea of um, just global reforestation <laughs> and just um, yeah I've been hearing Claire, talk Claire talking a few times about about their plan you know and they're planting two million trees every year and that's just the beginning and it just feels like um, it's a beautiful it's a beautiful thing for me to connect to because it's not political and um, I don't have to believe in in anything I mean I can believe in what I believe, but actually we all breathe and uh, we all drink water and we all eat food and we all need shelter and trees just give us so much of that, like so much of everything. And so it just feels like a really magical and powerful thing to be connecting in this way. And I feel really um, honored to be connected to Tree Sisters and it feels like just the beginning, actually. <laughs> well, thank you, Claire, for leaving that beautiful message for us. Um, Um, I'm going to sing a song for you um, called Honey Soup and it's a love song for our bodies and uh, 
you know, I've been realizing more and more how how much my body is also the earth. And um, um, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, and just how important it is for me to take care of this earth, this body, and this earth that I'm on, and that it's actually the same thing. And, and the more that I honor that and become a caretaker of that, um, the better. So this is a love song to our, our sweet ships, which are sailing us through life. <laughs> vessel, this sweet ship I sail in. I know you carry me homeward. I know you carry me home. In time to give thanks for the spirit, the spirit inside me. You're always there when I call you. Fingers and toes and this 
Story as ancient as this whole star I lie upon. To sing. Mm. Bit like crammed in here. <laughs> so I can't really ask how you're all doing because <laughs> you're all going to be in completely different places, maybe around the world. That's what's so incredible about these these concerts that we can do like this. Um, but I hope you're doing well out there. There's been some crazy storms here the last couple of days. The wind was blowing so wildly last night, all through the night. I was living in a little, I live in a little wooden cabin for the last day today. I'm moving house tomorrow. <laughs> so my cabin is full of all my boxes and um, all my plants are ready to move across the country. And it feels like... Uh, really significant moment for me and and as the storm was blowing it really suited my mood because you know I just have friends that keep sort of checking in with me actually like is it really crazy for you as well or is it just me and I say no it's really crazy everywhere I think <laughs> I mean of course it's ebbs and flows we all have moments of peace and moments of craziness but um the world is 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 transforming right now it feels like i mean we're always transforming but it feels it feels really strong right now so i feel really really grateful to be able to just stop in the calmness of my own storm and get to share music because it's um, really what helps my my heart to beat in the best way it can and, and my um my my soul to shine and, and for me to remember what i'm doing here <laughs> This is called Only Love. And it is a love song, but it's also about the love that's... It's about the love that stays as a, a thread, a constant thread through all of our lives. And, yeah, and it's always holding us. Like. And 
emptiness I'm on my knees as I see the bounty this life it gives to me And I'm made of tears, made of longing, made of crystal stone. And I'm made of sunlight, made of shadow, wrapped in prayers and bone. And I'm made of loving, made of kindness, and all I've ever known is love say. Love sails home. Thank you very much. Um, are you there, Isla? <laughs> Aha, there you are. Oh, <laughs> really, really beautiful song. Wow. Thank you. Took me on a really journey, real journey into <sighs> skin. I am so inspired by your songs and your, um, your, the consciousness of your being. <laughs> mm, thank you. Really beautiful. Thank you so much. Hard to sing after you. <laughs> um, I think Claire is here. So yeah. Do we want to pass over? Claire, are you ready? Or should we sing some more? Maybe you could sing one song. I'm here. Ah. I'm definitely here. Uh -huh. I'm in like awe that? of what I'm hearing. <laughs> <laughs> Isla, give us a song. And then Claire can land a little bit, if that feels good. Does that feel good? Or Claire, as she's here? Totally. Okay. Totally. I, I'm just, yeah, 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 just. Yes. Your voice is exquisite, Carrie. <laughs> I just, I just want to say, like, landing in and listening, I Aww. just want to bawl my eyes out. Like... <laughs> so it's just like oh my goodness oh, thank you thank, thank you. you from where you're singing from like thank you from like just the from for the depth of that that you're singing from mm. it's really thank really you. extraordinary Great. i'm just gonna sit here if by the time you've both reduced me to tears and you then expect me to sound coherent <laughs> i may just i may just dribble <laughs> and like go this is so lovely and you just have to tolerate that okay so just be prepared that may be the best i can give you but i'll disappear myself and let me know when you want me to try and say something sensible <laughs> thank you thank you so much <laughs> Enjoy, Isla. so i'm, I'm gonna share a song from the yawa and our people and um, yeah, the, pe the people of the forest and the people of song. And I'm so inspired by learning songs from, from different indigenous peoples that I spent time with or haven't spent time with. And the Yawanawa are there in the forest, in the Amazon. And the song, I, I want to just call that, 
that force and that spirit and that wisdom of the, the indigenous peoples, that wisdom of the people who live with, really with the trees, with nature, not just in it or next to it or beside it or on top of it, but as a part of that web within that home and in real love and devotion. They love, they love their forest because it's their mother and they, they know that, they live that. So this is a song, it's called Tonande, and um, from my understanding it's, it's a song that's just telling the story of returning down the river from Tarawaka back to their village. And Tarawaka actually means river full of, full of um, logs. But metaphorically it's a beautiful song also because it means returning home from the town, returning back to the forest from the town. So you sing along in the chorus, the tonande, and just sending this prayer to the Yawanao people, that they be well and healthy and safe and protected, and thank you. Thank you. 
Over to you, Claire. I'm not sure how to be in this moment. I just want to cry and um, I feel like I'm walking into sacred space with your exquisite voices and your souls just laid bare for all of us and touching us so deeply with the love that pours through you in song. So thank you both so, so much. And thank you to everybody that's here and listening. Thank you in advance for the generosity still to come towards the trees and for that that has already been offered. I want to honor the standing ones. I am currently a refugee from California because our lands are burning, our trees are falling from the sky as ash and I am up here in the Pacific Northwest with clean air and staggering trees and ever more present to the miracle of the standing ones that breathe with us and teach us about generosity and presence and patience and home and rootedness and unconditional love. And that is, I think, what I'm feeling in this moment, in this presence when when the two of you are so nakedly giving of your gifts and your love on behalf of everything that matters, the invitation that you are to all of us in whatever way we can to step into our hearts and make them visible and to live the most beautiful and meaningful lives that we can live at this turning point in time when nature is giving us a chance to wake up to who we are and to who we're not. And to say, remember your nature. Remember your nature as part of nature. Remember that you are because of nature. Remember that you are the trees and that the rain and the rivers are running through your blood. And that the rain and the rivers are only here because of the trees and too few people understand that. So when we ask you to give, we're asking you to give to the one who endlessly gives to us inside of a culture where we've been taught that taking is the only way to be. And what that does is it severs us from the gift of intimacy with nature, the gift of belonging in a way that creates a security and a safety and a nourishment and a a sense of being part of that is indescribable, that is a homecoming that reminds us who and what we really are, the thing that we most long for to live in love, in gentleness, in tenderness, in reverence. When all things are sacred, we cannot destroy. When all things are sacred, we too are sacred and we are worth saving. And we will only do that if we wake up and start saving and protecting the natural world that is the air that we breathe, the water and the blood that is our body. <sighs> Isla and Carrie, your songs are prayers. I know you know that, but I want you to know that we know that too, and that you are living a prayer for the living world in this moment. The prayer that I am living is that humanity wakes up to the miracle of life and that we move into sacred reciprocity and that we can normalize reciprocity, which means it becomes as normal to give back to the natural world as it currently is to take. We call that the shift from a consumer species to a restorer species. We call that the stepping into the age of restoration, an age that is here now in potential and age that we can all bring in if we long enough for a world that makes sense to our hearts and a humanity that lives in reverence. It may feel impossible in the insanity that is happening, but the insanity that is happening is the disintegration of a way of being that has created an economy that only thrives on the death of nature. Nature will have her way with us. Nature is having her way with us. 
Or what if we bow to nature and each of us normalizes the act of regeneration and reciprocity and restoration in our lives from this moment forwards? What if we are always allocating something that we earn back to nature so that we can regrow her forests, restore her ecosystems, bring back the rains, bring back balance? It's within our power to reallocate. It's within our power to care. These trees are not just standing timber and a forest isn't just a resource waiting to be plundered. These are cosmic beings. These are the global brain, the mycelium that we're just starting to understand that acts as this communication system, this nourishment system, this system of unconditional love and mutual care. The trees teach us who we are and how to be how to live together, how to take care of each other, how to ensure that everyone is strong. When one tree falls in a forest, it matters because the wind gets in and it can uproot others. And so the forests ensure the health of each other. There is no single tree in a forest. They are all woven together, holding hands at the root level. There is no single human being here. We are all intimately connected through our love, through our consciousness, through our need for each other, through our need for love and our capacity to love. But oh my God, how much we can learn from these trees. And one of the ways you can start is by being in deeper relationship, by ensuring that you are contributing to their strengthening talking to them every day. The trees love to be sung to. They love song. Trees have said to me, every tree has a note. Every forest is a symphony. Sing to us. Tibetan chants in the morning and lullabies at night. If you want to heal a tree, sing to it. When you plant with tree sisters, when you give to us, and a tree is just 40p. 40p because we plant in some of the most poor places on the face of the planet, the coal face of climate change. But that 40p includes all the, the seed, the germination, the nursery care, the volunteer work, the paid wages, the transport of saplings, the planting, the protection, the monitoring, the reporting, and the replanting if they are eaten by crabs, if they're mangroves or goats, or if they burn, or if they're flooded, or if they die from disease. All our projects have beautiful social stories and especially leaning towards the empowerment of women. But many of these projects are in very, very patriarchal societies where women are not allowed to lead. But in others, like in our Nepal project, the women have taken the lead because the women are the workers. They're the ones who get the job done. You are planting in the Amazon rainforest with the Ashaninka tribe who are struggling for their survival as many, many of the tribes are in the Amazon. You are also planting in the Atlantic rainforest of Brazil where we are planting forest corridors between some of the last remaining pockets of what is now between three and 7% of the Atlantic rainforest that remains, but houses some of the most endangered jaguars and pumas and ocelots and different monkeys and trees that are all on the red list. In Kenya and Cameroon, we're planting in the mountains, Mount Kenya, Mount Bambutus. Those mountains are water tables, they're watersheds, they're water towers. They are the uplands that allow for the rivers and the springs down land. So they are the source of the agricultural waters. They're also um, planting around endangered species in Cameroon, the last cross river gorillas in the world. There's 250 left of that one species. We're planting around them. If, if you give, you are helping to keep that species on this planet. In Mozambique and Madagascar, we're planting mangroves. Mangroves um, sequester between three and 12 times as much carbon as an ordinary temperate tree. And they bring back the fish stocks, they're saline loving, and they are buffers against storm surges coming in from the sea. Coastal restoration is absolutely crucial in so many tropical zones where they've been ripped out for firewood or for prawn farming. We're also planting dry deciduous trees in Madagascar around the last remaining six species of lemurs. They're just leaving. We're losing species faster than we know what to do with, faster than any other time apart from when we've had, you know, things falling from the heavens and wiping us out. 
or volcanoes. Only now it's humans. We're planting in southern India where drought is threatening all the farmland and famine is coming. We're planting in West Papua where we are again working with tribes, indigenous tribes to uh, grow mangroves especially, but we'll be growing uh, further inland. And Nepal, where again, we're down to between three and 7% of the Japa forest. Here we've got endangered elephants and rhino and sloth. And the villagers are learning how to grow the forests around some of the intact uh, existing forest, the remaining last percentages of these forests so that no more encroachment happens and no more poaching happens so that we're protecting them with buffer zone forests that the communities can harvest from. These are beautiful, beautiful projects, each one of them worthy, each one of them needs help. And what our job is to, is to invite everybody to realize that the tropical forest produces so much of the rainfall that we all need, that they're not just over there, that we can just forget about them when they burn. We can't survive without them. Our planet formed herself with her exquisiteness, with this tropical forest belt around her hottest waist, this, this band of her where the sun is strongest, where she uses the heat to pull the water through the trees, where the trees grow fast, where, you know, the, the hydrological cycle, the the pulsing of water that allows these flying rivers to distribute pure rain filtered water throughout the world. When it's not happening, when that pulsing gets disrupted, when the rainfall doesn't come, drought happens badly. She arranged herself with forests to cool her hottest areas and ice at top and bottom in order to stabilize. And the difference between that intense cold and that intense heat producing all the currents of water, the ocean currents and the hydrological cycles and the winds that provide the weather that we all depend upon. But the ice is melting and the tropical forests are burning. And what can we do? We can be awake. We can understand that we need to be in relationship with all of it. And we can start to restore our tropical forests. We can restore them. We can prioritize their restoration and we can look at our consumption and understand what is coming from there that needs to not come. We can change the markets with our awareness and our behaviors. But in this moment, before we go back to this prayer that is the music of Isla and Carrie, just want to invite each one of us to feel deeply to how much we love the trees of this world. Whether it's the redwoods that I've just discovered have actually survived the fires <clears throat> outside of Santa Cruz. <clears throat> and thank God they have, because there's so few left. Whether it's whatever species of tree that you most love, you will love trees. You will love trees and the forests. And most of all, you would love what they give the weather that they give, the stabilization that they give. And if you haven't yet understood the, the gifts, the myriad gifts that they give us as a reflection for how humanity could operate together, just know, just know we are starting to wake up to the miracle of trees. And if you feel for the miracle of trees in you, as you feel the love that pours through these two exquisite women who are giving their gifts for the trees, can you give? Can you give more? Are you prepared to become a restorer, what we call a restorer? We're all giving monthly, every month, and watch our forest grow inside of Tree Sisters. Are you prepared to bring trees into your business? We have a corporate program. We're embedding trees into products and services. Can you find a way of giving your gift in a way that helps to restore the global forest, that helps to reweave life the living world, everything that we depend upon. Can we start to make radical generosity and reciprocity part of the prayer of our lives, part of our giving back? I'm so grateful, Isla and Carrie. I'm so grateful I don't actually have words. I'm amazed I've managed to sit here and be vaguely coherent. I'm grateful to each of you that have already give, given. I know there's enough in there for almost I think by the sounds of things, almost 600 trees already, that's a forest. That's a forest, now can we double it? Can we double it, can we triple it? What can we do? 
what are we capable of with our hearts given in action and and gratitude for everything that we have taken from this world everything that we have has been taken from this world now what can we give back each of us what can we give back and how can we make that giving back become core to our lives ongoingly from here on in Thank you all. Bless your hearts. I'm going to hand back over to the music now because that is why you're all here. Isla, Carrie, I'm going to disappear myself and hope one of you miraculously reappears. The donation link is, it's a PayPal link. It's on the page. It's on the page that you're watching on. So uh, it is there. I'm not going to read it out because it is long. I'm going to uh, hand back over sending you love oh, gosh thank you claire so much for your sharing and it's a lot it's a lot to feel and hear but i'm so happy to hear it i mean happy is not the right word but um i feel like i'm i'm drinking it in like i want to know I want to know all those things because once I know, I can, I can choose what to do about it. And of course, it can then be like, what the hell do I do about it? But you're giving a really clear, <laughs> a really clear, simple, beautiful um, idea of what to do about it, which is to, is to plant trees. I love, I love it so much. And um, yeah, it's powerful, powerful to hear all the, everything you're sharing. Thank you so much. Um, thanks for bringing. Thank you for being with us. We're so honoured to have you here with us um, in our three, three tree sisters. <laughs> Isla sent me this beautiful picture earlier of three big oak trees where she's staying um, next to each other. These three tree sisters, and it just felt really special. Um, it feels really special to be doing this um, with you both. Um, yeah, I want to share a song um, called Wood Warden, and it's it's a song which feels just jumped into my my awareness because it's um i wrote it uh, when i first heard about um monsanto copywriting seeds and uh, at the time when i heard about it it was a few years ago i couldn't i couldn't understand i just that i couldn't comprehend how people could do that and how that that's such an active that's such an active choice to you know to control in in it's something that's just our birthright of, of growing food and nature and i I just couldn't handle it, so this song started pretty sad, actually, and then I didn't get very far before I thought, what do I, what do, I do about that? And, and the only thing I could really come to was to follow, it's more important than ever right now, to follow our heart song, to follow the thing which deeply calls us, um, which deeply calls me, and wh where I can stand, you know, like as deep in my heart as I can, and just what I'm actually called to do, not what I think I should do or how I've been taught to do, but what I really... I'm called to do and I feel like that, that that everything makes sense again then when I think of that because there's nothing else to do actually and if we all did that I think a lot more trees would be planted <laughs> and a lot more things would be taken care of actually so this is called Wood Warden I'm just going to move this mic a little bit wait a second into the piano <laughs> sorry guys okay just have to go sideways a bit actually we'll move the piano back oh no because then the mic will go back I don't think we can actually I think it's just how it is it's okay thank you I'm in a little bit of a jigsaw is that okay like that Send the seeds, please take heed.
The skin I'm in, and it's the song I sing. My ancestors are calling. I feel, and I hear your warning. I reach out to my kin. It's the skin I'm in, and it's the song I sing. And it's your song I sing. And it's the prayer within. And it's the love within. We know just what to do. We know just what to do. Yeah, I want to sing you a, 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 a tree song, actually. Um, a very beautiful friend of mine, um, who I just saw the words that we've just passed 500 pounds, which is, I don't know how many trees, but that's really exciting. Woohoo! Thank you. Thank you. I'm just going to faff around with this microphone for a second. Um, and, um, yeah, I want to sing for you a song um, from a very dear sister of mine called Anna Richardson. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
and um, she's been writing songs for all the trees. And uh, she her her invitation is to inspire other people to write songs for trees because she says in no way there can be one song for the oak tree and one song for the ash, you know. But she um, she started the process and and she's starting this very beautiful project called the Children's Forest. Um, they've just made a Facebook page. It's um, the Children's Forest planting a vision. If you would like to check it out, and it's a really very beautiful project where. Um, their vision is to, um, I'm not going to do it justice, but I'm going to try and very briefly say that their vision is to um, have children across the world planting trees, but to do it where they, they really bring the meaning into it for, for the children. So they, they find some land, they make a children's fire, <laughs> which is so nice. Isla was talking about the children's fire earlier. So they make a central fire in the, in the place where they're going to plant the trees. And then they come and really connect to the woodland first and then plant the trees and have songs for the trees and stories and make it like a whole interactive um, project. And then they can keep coming back and visiting these trees. And, and as they grow, there's this fireplace in the middle and they're making these forests. Um, and within that, it's, it's, it's about tending, they do activities and there's a whole massive project um, and dream that they're creating, it's very beautiful. And if you if you have any um, land that you would like this to happen to or you have children that you'd like to be involved please check out um, the children's forest uh, it's just still in its its roots are going down and it's still in its um in its beginnings of being created but um yeah it's it, it really really touches my heart this project and i would love to be more connected to it but um this is a song for the willow tree that, that anna wrote <laughs>
Yes, 1,250 trees we've planted so far. <laughs> that is amazing. That is so amazing. Oh my God. Just from playing music and coming together and having beautiful words. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing this with us. Um, yeah, it means so much to us. Um, I would love to hand back to beautiful Isla Schaefer to sing us some songs if you're there. Wow, 1,360 trees. It's just gone up. <laughs> Isla, are you there? I'm here. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie. Mm. Oh, it's really um, it's really special to be listening to you. Mm. It's just for the people out there who maybe don't know us so well, my, me and Carrie, we have this um, funny relationship where we hardly have ever seen each other in our lives. <laughs> we have these moments, these funny moments here and there beautiful moments and but uh, but there's a real um there's like a friendship between our song it's like something mm. like that like mm. sure there's a friendship between our our personalities and our beings but like something that resonates very deeply and I can speak for myself when I listen to your song and your prayer and yeah really good medicine thank you Thank you so much. That's so beautiful. That's exactly how I feel. It's true. There's a, yeah, friendship in our songs. I love that. They know each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, beautiful. Thank you. Happy singing. <laughs> I'm excited, basically. I want to shut up so I can hear you singing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and also, Claire, thank you so much. I'm, I'm really, um, really happy that you're here and I know how busy you are and probably in super demand, so it's really a special honour to have you here and to bring that that way of communication here and that power and that force of that words. It really it moved me very deeply and I think it probably moved everyone very deeply. And it was interesting as I listened to you, I, I felt this like it was like the shell around my pain in my heart of of what what it means to be a human in this earth in this time and what's happening and i felt this like expanding like expanding into this like shell and then reaching this kind of edge of pain and it like breaking isn't the right word but like dissolving open and um it's inspired me to sing this song that kind of speaks about how this this journey of actually opening ourselves profoundly to to understanding what love truly is means daring to go to allow that pain to speak to us because the pain it can only hurt us when the forests are burning because within that pain is a deep 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 love and a deep deep knowing so the pain is actually guiding us home to our heart and guiding us home to our our integrity and our force and our power and creating inspiration and passion to to give back and to be part of this sacred reciprocity reciprocity this sacred exchange to give back to life itself so um
Yeah, it's good. It's good um, to sing my own songs. I'm sure Carrie would agree that our, our own songs are, are like the perfect medicine for reminding ourselves that which we learned. So, wow, I've just read um, we've had an anonymous donation of £500. So we're at £1,144. That's loads of trees. It's really a forest. Beautiful forest. This song is called Onshimaka. And Onshimaka um, is, means Grandmother Earth in Lakota. And um, the words I sing are in, the, in Lakota from the Native American tribe, the Lakota people. And I sing um, um, Grandmother Earth. Um, oh, I need my brain to translate. Grandmother Earth, I am praying to you. Um, Tunkashila, who's, who is a word for great spirit. Um, I give thanks. It's a song, a simple song of gratitude. <laughs>
Gracias. So, um, I pass it onwards. I'm not sure if it's a moment, Claire, to to join again or carry. Let's see who who pops up. <laughs> ah. Yes, we'd love a we would love a poem, Claire. Claire's offering a poem. We would love that. If you want to ping ping yourself into being. <laughs> Am I here? Yes. You are here. <laughs> this is very short but it feels I'm feeling it inside the music and I'm feeling the music inside it it's called Becoming loving this world breathing with this world as our world breathes us holding this world in our hearts as we wake up to her, as we realize what is slipping through our fingers that we never knew to hold. Stopping the push, stopping the looking away and the need to pretend, stopping the clenched way we hold ourselves separate and tell ourselves that we do not belong. We belong. How can we not? We have rain and rivers in our blood, eagles in our eyes, trees in our lungs, and sky filling the immensity of every cell. We did not come here to destroy life. We came here to become life. Fully awake, fully embodied, fully belonging, fully alive. Short and sweet back over to you, Carrie. Thank you, it's delicious. <sighs> um, I'm feeling like um, it's so in such a beautiful way to do this, even though it's quite surreal, um, because as I'm listening to to you both, these songs just pop up into being, and like a little tapping on my shoulder, and I'm like, oh, I don't know if I was going to play you, and they're like, yes, you are, <laughs> tapping away. So uh, this song wants to be played, and it's called The Canoe, and uh, it's a birthing song. It's a song written for a very dear friend of mine um, as she was giving birth, and um, I felt so connected to her, and I felt the fragility and the power um, of birth, and felt it felt like a it felt like the she had to go into this forest and go alone and go and collect the the, the child into 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 um being into physical being from spirit world into physical being and um yeah it just it, it touched me so much just to that we might lose her we might lose the child or we might have them both as a gift and it's so it's so fragile and and yeah I was so so touched by it and um yeah. And I love just singing you are loved completely. I was just this put this this driving me to want to tell this child that it completely belonged and it was loved completely and it was totally we were totally here waiting for it and completely holding it and, and welcoming it in and I just feel like I, I this this song becomes a prayer to for everybody to have that welcoming into this earth, you know, every living being to have that welcoming and that honouring into into life, you know, and every tree as well, <laughs> every every being to be completely loved.
by the forest, down the river, you've made to the void. The void we all know and come from. Oh, spirit child, you are called. Roar down the river on your birch bark canoe made of love. And your mother's body, her song is your sail. Call on the ancient memory guiding you here. I'm lighting candles for you, drawing you near. Mm, I know you can hear, take hold of his hand. He stands at the gate, he's trembling. I sing the song to belong, the song to choose life. I sing it loud so you hear. You are loved completely. Completely. the perfect embrace to your mother's heart you fit perfectly in your father's hands we're calling the song to welcome you So young mother, your time has come Walk down the forest of your barefooted land Your travel for miles, his song is your sail Her song is your sail Strong and brave is the story told With leaves of green and nuts of brown In autumn he wears a golden crown Don't time. Um, what have I got time for one more? Have I got time for one more? This is my new friend. This is Don Ronaldo. <laughs> and uh I'm wondering if this is the time when we uh, we all share together um Isla and Claire because I know we said at the end we will all be here together. Um maybe it's that time. What do you think? No, we can't. Yeah. <laughs>
Does that feel right? Does that feel right for you, Isla? Yeah, great, great. And then we can maybe do a do a song each and a and a, and then end with Claire um, with a poem. And I think that's that's that feels like the flow, really. Yeah. If this mic stand lets me, <laughs> just don't. Um, sorry. So I also just want to um. Wait a sec. <laughs> I just want to say a massive thanks to all about love. Um, all about love gatherings and Sai from all about love who has been with us through this journey of, of creating this gig um, and he's put so much love and time into it and um, yeah it's just been it's been uh, such a funny old journey um, of like all sorts of things uh, lots of problem solving to try and keep it rolling um, but we've we, we're still we're here we're all here together <laughs> and it feels like amazing hey Sai <laughs> Yeah, and, and I love it about this, this, I mean, I don't love it, it also drives me mad, but also it's amazing how we can keep coming together, all of us, and keep problem solving and just finding our way through. And um, I'm really touched by the way that you all handle things and work, and it's inspiring to me. And, and I just feel closer to you all now, and like, you're all an amazing thing. And we, yeah. So thank you, Sai, well done for coming from the festival somehow. We're really, I'm really glad a tent didn't fall on your head in the wind. <laughs> I was really like relieved to see your smiley face. <laughs> so thank you for all your your beautiful work that you do, and also massive thanks to Darren um, from Aho Studios who was supporting us and Bright Sky Communities. Massive thanks, and to Ed Kingston who's been just a total star with us on the sound and just being. Thank you, Ed. Thank you so much. It's been so nice to work with you, and yeah, a total star. Thank you. Yeah, I'd just like to, to say um, thank. You. Say again. Say thank you to you all again as well. It's just such an honour to support you all, and especially Tree Sisters. But to you know, you two beautiful sisters, and to work alongside Bright Sky and Dear Ed and and Darren at Aho is just an absolute <laughs> privilege. So thank you. Oh, is that Darren there? Hello, Hello Darren. <laughs> Great. Yeah, and also thanks to Charlie. I've got two invisible angels here in this space that just completely helped me so much. Tamsin, who just magicked her way in and just, just did some really beautiful things. And and, um, and Charlie was doing the sound for me, so massive thanks to them also. Yeah. <sighs> oh, wow, like now it feels like there's lots of us here. <laughs> this is really surreal. <laughs> So this is a song called Earth Caretakers. It's it's a new a new being that's come through and and it's just really just strengthening my role and my memory as my role as an earth caretaker and you know when I say that I feel really moved actually because often I feel like really far away from that actually like because often I feel really numb but I know that that's actually also the 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 thing to have to move through is the numbness and the apathy is is part of the trauma which we all carry for some reason and and so that's why I'm so grateful to music because it breaks through that that numbness you know and even to to what sometimes feels like wow do I not care at all I hear all these words but where's my heart you know and of course I know I'm a deep feeling person so I'm learning to trust when I'm not feeling anything it's because I've I've just sort of some part of me didn't feel safe and I've shut down so I'm just working with that, you know, but I, so I write this song to affirm it to myself, to really, not to feel guilty, you know, because I start to feel guilty all the things I haven't done, which is so crazy, <laughs> so I want to just remember that I'm here, I'm really here on this incredible planet right now that I love like, so dearly, I love being alive so much, and I love the trees so much, like, all of them, I've brought all my tree friends next to me, you can't see them, <laughs> but just, yeah, I just want to walk, I just... I just want to journey more and more with with waking up softly as as I can, you know, to myself in the process of waking up and and trusting that everything's perfect timing and and just keep turning up basically and yeah. I'm not sure this is picking it up, but yeah, great. <sighs> i 
sings to the I sing for you, sing flowing love for you. I sing for you, sing flowing love for you. As I remember, every drop is sacred. As I remember, every drop is sacred. Forest, emerald forest, I breathe with you, breathe every breath for you. Forest, emerald forest, I breathe with you, breathe every breath for you. As I remember, every leaf is sacred. As I Echoing mountains, I dance with you, dance in the clarity. Mountains, echoing mountains, I dance with you, dance in the clarity. As I remember, every rock is sacred. As I Mother, precious mother, I honor you, sing a new world with you. Mother, precious mother, I honor you, dream a new world with you. Mother, sacred mother, I honor you, I kiss the ground of you as I as a caretaker as I resume my role as a caretaker growing tending planting in the dawn may all love pour through our hands and sing As I resume my role as a caretaker. As I resume my role as a caretaker. Every time the pair of you open your voices, open your voices, give your voices. I can't speak. I just want to, I'm going to get off this and I'm going to cry for about an hour because it's just been so amazing. 
every time you speak, it's like you you you're calling to the part of people that my life is given to trying to touch. Mm. I try to touch that part of people that knows that their nature that cares underneath the numbness that is is that caretaker that sees the emerald forests and understands that everything is sacred and when you sing it I feel like you're healing the world I feel like because I know that presence heals I know that deep deep presence and the willingness to witness heals but when you sing it and it comes through your heart the way that it does both of you you both have this gift you're performing such deep healing in this world and it it matters so much <laughs> i'm so grateful i'm so grateful i want to um apart from wipe my nose all over facebook i am <laughs> i am famous for crying in every way and every place possible uh it's just what i do it's just what i do i want to finish i want to offer a poem just because i think these poems and songs say it they say it and i want to offer this poem to the part of all of us that gives up that just goes it's too much i can't i can't manage it or the part that goes numb or the part that feels disconnected or the part that feels unlovable or the part that feels that what we've got to give isn't enough or is doesn't matter and and to say to that part of you it's a lie. It's all a lie. Every part of you is sacred. Everything that comes through you is also that. And so um, this is called your natural soul. Whether or not you know that you are beautiful, the flowers gaze at you whenever you walk by. When your heart feels like stone and you've lost sight of the gifts being given, you are still held by the earth beneath you and kissed by the breath of the trees. When you've convinced yourself that you're hopeless, that you simply can't fulfill the role that you were born here to play, the sky is still whispering your name and the stars are waiting for their chance to sing to you. You are wanted here. You are part of this creation. Let your hurts melt away in the waves. Let your cries be carried by the birds. Air, earth, fire and water are the truth of you. And when you drop the veil and open to the greater you, you will find your fullness in the valleys and the groves and bow again to the sacred altar of your natural soul. Together, there's already over 3,000 trees being planted because Carrie and Isla have sung those trees into being and you have all responded to their call. And if you're just tuning in and we're just ending, start at the beginning. These two songbirds have like a gift like nothing I have heard and it's it will plug you back into what deeply matters and you'll be able to hear a little bit more about where these trees are being planted. I'll just say again, just briefly, in the Amazon rainforest, in the Atlantic rainforests, both in Brazil, in Kenya and Cameroon and Mozambique and Madagascar and Nepal and India and West Papua, you are planting many, many hundreds of different species of tropical trees and you are protecting endangered species of birds and reptiles and the four-leggeds and the hairy ones that gorillas and pumas and ocelots and lemurs and elephants and sloth and rhino and women who have been in indentured slaveries and children that have been starving you are planting trees that pull the carbon from the atmosphere that provide the rainfall that we need. You are giving back and weaving this world back together in the way that Carrie and Isla are weaving it back together with their souls. These are the root systems that create soil. These are the leaves that create water. These are the trees that we cannot live without. Please give, please, please give to honor these two, to honor their gift and their intentionality and their dream to 
plant a plant 5,000 trees. We're getting close. We've only got another 1,500 to plant, but don't let it end there. Like, let's double it. Let's, and, and actually, you know, please let's, let's share this. Let's share this concert as far and wide as you possibly can and let it, let it seed something in you. Let their example and their gift seed something in you. Let it be the, the seed planted that says, how can I give my gift in a way that restores the world? How can I bring my music or my poetry or my art or my weaving or my coaching or my business or my whatever it is? How can you embed trees in what you're doing so that your life becomes restorative from this moment on? And as this concert goes out and as more and more of us watch it, you can still donate on the PayPal button on this page and it will still fall into the pot that becomes leafy green. With all our gratitude to the pair of you, I'm just in awe, frankly. I'm in awe of your music and I want to get my hands on as much of it as possible and then just listen to it on repeat. Especially on the two day drive back to California, as and when I can bear to make the journey. It's all I want to listen to. I'm so, so grateful. Thank you for, um, thank you for the privilege of being able to hang out with you both. Thank you for all the technological hurdles that you've all gone through, which have been numerous. And I was a hurdle as well because I couldn't make the last date and you just changed it so that I could. And I'm, yeah. You've been so graceful and so generous and so loving. And um, I have huge gratitude. And I'll just hand over to Isla. Oh. Um, bah. My heart's just going like flowering open, kind of painful. But it's beautiful to feel that aching in the heart and to feel the tears and to feel that sweetness of sadness and joy and gratitude and despair and everything like just cleansing through like your song, Kay, when you just said crystal water and that. Yeah, so thank you. Thank you, Claire. Thank you, Kay and Ed and Sai and Darren. And thank you, everybody. When I just look at that number of trees that we've planted together, I'm, I'm just like I'm really, um, yeah, really moved. I'm, I see it in my mind. I see this forest that we've planted, like thousands of trees. It's, it's a lot. It's a big forest, and that feeling of like oof, tiny, like these tiny steps we can take, like there, give something back. And with each breath, it's like with each breath. Are giving back so yeah I hope um, like Claire said that we we each take this inspiration that we're all on this journey of um, expanding more and more our giving because actually it's like expanding more our receiving it's like our lungs like breathing more and more deeply the more we receive and the more breath we're going to give and the trees is such a magic teacher that like we literally breathe with them we return our breath to them and they return it to us yeah thank you everybody uh, <laughs> thank you to our trees this song is is called music plants trees and i wrote it um i think it was two years ago the fires in the amazon that that were happening probably around this time two years ago and i was just like oh my god like the, all of us like what this is so big and so painful and i feel so helpless what the hell can i do like the fires so i wrote this song and then this is the song that inspired this whole um movement that i can am dreaming and um connecting with the tree sisters that already dreamed this movement of music planting trees and music growing trees
imagine the spirit of those trees, the spirit of that forest and, and sing to those trees. And they're so happy to receive our voices and our prayers. everybody the link will um, continue to be on top of this video and will continue to be open over the next days as the video is shared I'm sure we will keep um, gathering and let's see if we reach our 5,000 trees I have a feeling we will I have a feeling we're on our way there thank you everybody who's made this possible all about love for hosting this and the men as Claire mentioned the men for holding this this that the women could do.
I'd just like to say just very quickly that I think that uh, talking to you, Claire, um, I think that this could be the start of something really beautiful, you know, um, but three sisters and friends once a quarter or twice a year or something could really help to <laughs> generate many, many more forests and many more, many more trees and benefit for the, for the benefit of all, obviously. Um, we've believed in your work from afar for so long. And actually, I watched your um, uh, talk at uh, Boomtown last year at the opening ceremony, um, which was amazing. And uh, so, you know, I've just friended you on Facebook just to let you know that, you know, I'm here to, to talk to you. <laughs> if you'd like to connect on doing something bigger and maybe a little bit more regularly to help with the same message, the same vibe that Isla and Carrie have created here with you, you'd be so, so welcome. I'd love to, I'd love to be involved. Bless your hearts. Oh, okay. Now I'll cry for two hours instead of just one. <laughs> That talk at Boomtown in front of 35,000 people, and I couldn't hear myself say a word. I didn't know whether any bit, whether anything was coming out of my mouth. I have never been so far out of my body ever. I'm so glad. I um, Music, you know, I'll say it again. When I, in a conversation with the trees, they said, every tree has a note. Every forest is a symphony. If you want to heal the trees, sing to us. Mm. <sighs> And they said, you know, when you take our bodies, our bodies still sing. So mm. there was just like, I started going, oh my God, this table is still singing. This chest of drawers is still singing. Like we're living in a world of music created by the trees that we can't hear, but there is a way that we can open to hear it. And actually the more we can sing to the trees and sing for the trees, I think we are weaving our world back together. So yes, and thank you. And yes, and thank you. And I'd love this to be a beginning, like I say, a seed planted for so many of you that are out there to feel for yeah. how can your gifts, whatever they are, but especially the gifts that give you joy, that bring you into yourselves, that help you become the more beautiful self that you long to be by being the authentic expression of your creative love. How can that help grow this world back uh -oh. together again? Mm -hmm. Magic. Thank you all so much. We'll, Thank uh, you. And we'll keep we'll keep people up to date with how many trees um, we have have created from this, and we'll we'll keep it running. So we'll let you know, and yeah, we'll let you know what forest we've made. So we'll post it on our pages, and yeah. Um, and Ilo, I just want to say I was singing harmonies with you, and I was so sad I wasn't sitting next to you. But I look forward to we'll the next do time. one in live in the same place at the same time. All of us, yeah, but yeah. Bless Zoom. Bless you and bless the Zoom gremlins because they actually behaved. I actually made a little shrine here of whiskey and tobacco and chocolate to try and just beg them basically to please just help us. And they did. It was. <laughs> so, yeah. It was the whiskey. It must have been the whiskey. They were otherwise engaged. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Yes. Much Farewell well and thank you. I see. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs>